Kumusta? Hi! I'm Teacher Randy, your research teacher. Isa ka bang estudyante na namumroblema kung ilang respondents o participant lamang ng iyong research ang kailangan mong kapag ang population nila ay 100, 500, 1,000 o higit pa? Hmm, well, tama ka ng pinapanood dahil sa video lesson na ito, ating pag-aaralan at pag-uusapan ang tungkol sa sampling procedure using Slovin's formula. Kaya tara, samahan ninyo ako at tayo ay matuto. In this video lesson, here is the most essential learning competency that you need to master. Describe sampling procedure and the sample. Here is a sample problem that we will apply the Slovin's formula. Suppose you plan to conduct a study among 1,500 grade 11 students enrolled in a TVL track. How many respondents are needed using a margin of error of 5%? Bago natin ito sagutin, i-define muna natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng sampling. Sampling is the process of selecting a few or the sample from a bigger group or the population to become the basis for predicting the prevalence of an unknown piece of information, situation, or outcome regarding the bigger group. Ginagamit ang sampling sa research pag ang target lang natin ay small group that will represent the whole population. Pero hindi ito nangangahulugan na basta-basta na lamang tayo mamili kung ilan ang ating magiging respondents. Dahil may tamang paraan para rito at yun ang paggamit ng Slovin's formula. Ganun pa man, tandaan pa rin na the larger the sample size, the more accurate the findings. Ano naman ang Slovin's formula? This is the equation for Slovin's formula. We have N equals capital N all over 1 plus capital NE squared, where the small n is the sample size, the capital N is the population, and E is the margin of error that can be 5%, 2%, or 1%. Now, to solve the problem, alamin muna natin kung ano yung mga given sa ating uh, problem. So, we have 1,500, which will be our population, and 5% for the margin of error, E. So, we have N equals 1,500, and then the margin of error of 5%. And this can be written in a decimal format, equivalent to 0.05. Para hindi kayo uh, malito kung paano kinukonvert ang percent into decimal place, ang gagawin nyo lang, you just divide the 5% into 100 at lalabas yung 0.05. Okay? So again, we are solving for the sample size and using the Slovin's formula, N equals capital N all over 1 plus capital N E squared. So isolve na natin. So this is our solution. So, N equals yung ating population, 1,500 divided by 1 plus 1,500 times uh, 0.05 uh, squared. Then, uh, gayahin lang natin. Ang evaluate lang muna natin is yung nasa baba. So, we have 1,500 and 0.05 squared. So, i-square muna natin yung 0.05. That is equivalent to 0.0025. And then, multiply it to 1,500. Ang lalabas doon is 3.75. Kaya meron tayong sagot na 3.75 dito. Okay. Tuloy natin yung equation. So, we have 1,500. Tapos... 1 plus 3.75 is 4.75. Kaya, ganito na yung ating equation. Tapos, you just divide 1,500 by 4.75. This will be our answer. Uh, 315.79. And then, rounding off. Since wala naman tayong respondents na decimal place, so magiging ano na lang ito, 316 as our sample size. 
That's why our sample size for this problem will be 316 respondents. Ayan. So, 316 lang na respondents ang ating kailangan para sa 1,500 grade 11 students. Okay? Madali lang, di ba? And that ends our lesson. Nag-enjoy ba kayo? Kung oo, please like, share, and subscribe. See you sa ating next video lesson. Again, I'm Teacher Randy. Happy to serve. Bye!